What if we told you you exist in another universe that you are unaware of? While this may sound frightening, it is not impossible to find a perfect copy of yourself or a loved one living in a completely different universe due to the theory of multiple or parallel universes. However, while some scientists dismiss the theory as fiction, more evidence for the existence of these alternate universes is emerging. What are parallel universes and how do they affect you? All of this and more as we delve into how scientists have finally discovered proof for the existence of parallel universes. Have you ever wondered if there are other forms of life out there in the universe? Humans have been preoccupied with these questions since time immemorial. But of course, questions like these are why we are humans. Scientists, on the other hand, do much more than ask about other forms of life because some of them have theorized that there may be another universe out there right alongside ours. Some believe that there may be an endless number of similar universes, which they refer to as parallel universes. This premise appears to be lifted directly from science fiction novels and movies, but there have definitely been many of them over the years to pique the interest of readers and viewers everywhere. Hugh Everett III, a Princeton University student at the time, proposed the controversial idea of parallel universes or realms that appear exactly like and are connected to our own in 1954. These parallel universes diverge from ours, while our universe diverges from others. This daring theory has many practical implications because it implies that in parallel universes, world wars may have different outcomes, for example. Species such as dinosaurs may have lived in particular parallel universes or are still living there. And humans themselves may have become extinct in certain parallel universes. Many people questioned this young scientist and his bold theory, but Everett's many worlds theory, as it became known, was an attempt to solve certain unanswered problems posed by the findings of tests conducted in the developing field of quantum physics. Quantum physics is the study of things at the quantum level, which is the smallest level that scientists have discovered so far. Quantum matter, which exists on the subatomic level, appears to behave erratically at times, in contrast to the uniformity observed in many other spheres, leading scientists to believe that there are other scientific laws at work that we are unaware of. For example, scientists studying quantum meta soon realize that quantum particles such as photons appear to take different forms randomly. Scientists that study photons discovered that they behave like particles at times and like waves at others, much like you being a solid human being one minute and a gas the next. This phenomenon is known as Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Werner Heisenberg, a scientist, argued that humans may influence the behaviour of quantum matter just by observing it. Niels Bohr, another physicist, agreed and went a step further by arguing that quantum particles exist in all conceivable states at the same time and that when we observe them, our observation affects their behaviour, causing them to pick one state at that point in time. You might think of Everett's many worlds theory as an alternate to Bohr's concept of quantum matter. According to Everett, observing quantum matter creates a real split in the universe rather than a flip between states. Therefore, the universe truly replicates and divides into several parallel universes for each possible quantum matter state. Meanwhile, the many worlds theory has certain ramifications that make some scientists uneasy. For example, if you've ever been in a position where one conceivable outcome was death, Everett's theory suggests that there may be a parallel universe out there where you perished. Everett's method was especially contentious since it contradicted our fundamental understanding of the idea of time. For many years, Everett's theory was deemed to be far-fetched. Nevertheless, scientists have lately grown interested in it again after several scientists conducted thought experiments that appear to suggest Everett's theory is theoretically viable. Interestingly, Everett's theory is not the only alternate theory that seeks to explain quantum physics. String theory posits that particles much smaller than quantum matter exist. String theory also suggests parallel universes exist, because working our way back from the Big Bang, we will almost certainly arrive to parallel universes. How? Keep in mind that we have a time boundary to the part of the cosmos that we can access. 
The universe as we know it started 13.8 billion years ago in the Big Bang, when the cosmos was hot, dense and full of stuff and radiation. It was cooling and moving away from that initial state. The more we gaze back in space, the further we end up gazing back in time, all the way to the hot Big Bang's boundary. You can't, however, go back to the arbitrarily early times, because if the universe had exceeded a certain temperature and density, it would have properties that we don't see. Instead, observations support the idea that the hot Big Bang was preceded and set up by a period of cosmic inflation that stretched the universe's curvature to the point where it was indistinguishable from flat and then inflated away any problematic unobserved high-energy remnants predicted to form at high temperatures. This resulted in the universe having the same energy density everywhere, with quantum fluctuations caused by inflation stacked on top of the uniform energy background. As inflation continues, there is a chance that the field will roll into the valley where inflation ends, a probability that it won't and the inflation will continue, and even a possibility that the field will roll in the wrong direction, taking us further away from inflation's end. Because the inflating universe constantly makes new space, all of these possibilities can coincide in different regions of the inflating universe. As inflation continues to stretch the universe and create new space in certain areas, the field rolls into the valley, thus ending inflation. This causes hot big bangs to form in those places that we may name the universe. In between those universes, there is additional inflating space where inflation does not stop, but rather continues. As the universe expands, more space is created. Now we have a scenario in which we get enough inflation to set up the hot Big Bang with the properties we observe and always get a multiverse. One in which different separate universes are continually formed, permanently separated from one another by space, which continues to expand indefinitely as new universes and scorching Big Bangs continue to birth. Even though each universe emerged from the small same region of space, no information can be transferred between them because they are not causally connected. There are many critics of the theory of parallel universes, including scientists, and one of their main criticism is that it cannot be tested. An experiment, however, appears to have changed all that. The experiment was a cosmic ray detection test, which discovered particles that might originate from outside our universe. ANITA, NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, utilizes a massive balloon to raise sensitive electronic antennae into the cold, dry air over Antarctica, where there is little or no radio noise to affect its results. There is a steady flow of high-energy particles from space, some of which are a million times more powerful than anything we can produce. Low-energy particles, known as neutrinos, may flow entirely through the Earth without interacting with its material, whereas higher energy objects come to a standstill due to the Earth's solid matter. This implies that high energy particles can only be detected as they fall from space, but detecting a heavier particle known as a tau neutrino as it rises from the Earth would suggest that these particles are actually moving backward in time. This points to the existence of a parallel universe. However, many scientists have explained away Anita's discovery, claiming that while the discovery is intriguing, it was caused by something other than parallel universes. This is not surprising given that astronomers previously believed that our planet to be alone, then our solar system to be alone. So the existence of multiple universes isn't a theory to dismiss. How can we be certain that parallel universes exist? If our universe collided with another, we'd have some proof. Some theorists claim that clashing universes might leave cold or hot regions on the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. If so, sophisticated sky surveys should be able to locate those locations. Gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time, may also provide evidence to support the theory of cosmic inflation. The theory suggests that gravitational waves left over from the Big Bang could put tiny curls into the CMB, which some telescopes are actively looking for today. If researchers can spot such curls in the CMB as they thought they did back in 2014, it could eventually boost support for the idea that there's another you out there going about their business. However, there is a link between parallel universes and two additional mysteries and terrifying space phenomena. 
black holes and white holes. Black holes are those scary monsters in outer space that consume anything that comes close to them. They originate when enormous stars collapse on themselves, forming incredibly dense masses with gravitational forces so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. White holes are the opposite of black holes in that they force everything inside of them out and nothing can get inside. There are numerous explanations on how white holes develop, which we will not discuss in this video. But what is the connection between the three? In essence, any white hole might spawn other big bangs, resulting in various universes within or beyond its radius or boundaries, with distinct laws of physics. Reality could be formed of antimatter, or time could not be positive and unidirectional. These universes are most likely mirrors of our own, with various histories based on distinct quantum states coming to life, proving quantum superposition. Let us know what you think about parallel universes in the comments section. 